Hi guys, welcome back to Botanical Woman. Thank you uh, for those of you who is joining us live. I hope uh, social distancing is treating you well. You're finding ways to entertain yourself. I've been super busy uh, replanting a lot of my plants. My hands have been super dry, so I'm like constantly putting on hand cream. I'm getting like a lot of needles from the cactus. And it was bad. And I have like constant dirt underneath my nails lately. It's so gross. Okay. Mealy bugs. So there are two types of mealy bugs. There are mealy bugs that like to eat foliage. And then there's mealy bugs that um, like to eat roots. And sometimes they're referred to as root mealy bugs or soil mealy bugs. So we will talk about both of those. Uh, I'm not an expert. I have gotten both of them and I have treated both of them, one with more success than the other. So I'll, I'll start off with the easier of the two, which is to me is the foliage mealybug. Uh, and when I say foliage mealybug, it means that you see it, you know, along the stem, hiding usually um, in between the leaves. Uh, my Stiltipacana, uh, Monstera Stiltipacana video that I got from Josh's Frog came with mealybugs and I was actually able to treat that and got rid of mealybugs pretty successfully by using da -da -da, olive oil! And that was actually a mistake if you watched that video. Um, but the whole point is that mealybugs have a wax coating around it and so so it's kind of like it's protective layer and you need to use something that's able to penetrate it which is why a lot of times um, you will see people recommending you use alcohol because alcohol has the ability to break through the wax coating pretty successfully um, my only issue with using well this is an issue because I've never actually used alcohol to get rid of the foliage mealybugs. But I like the idea of like being able to dunk the plant into some kind of drench. And I'm not sure um, if it's like going to be harmful if you leave it in too long or how long you should really have your plant soaking in, you know, alcohol. Yeah, I haven't done that. So basically, the accident showed me that using some kind of oil, and I've had discussions with other people about this, and they recommend actually using mineral oil. And mineral oil is usually found um, like in baby baby oil. So you can use that if it doesn't have like other chemicals in it. And they like to mix it, which I have done this as well, with Castile soap. So this Castile soap is oil-based, as you know, and it is it doesn't have as many, um, I guess, pollutants as, say, like Dawn soap or any kind of dish, yeah, dish, dish, dish detergent. Oh boy. Yeah, so this type of soap is definitely more natural, so it's less harmful to your plants. Has anybody here tried using any of these products that I'm talking about right now and have you found them to be successful? I'd love to hear from you guys if uh, you have comments or questions. But uh, Castile Soap, this brand in particular, I know comes with, um, it's incorporated with like, you can get it with tea, tea tree oil, which I know a friend of mine uses. Hi, Steve. Thank you for joining us. And uh, what else? Uh, pepperom pepperomia. Peppermint oil. Uh, so, yeah, those are like kind of like your natural bug deterring, um, yeah, antibacterial, what do you call those? Oils? Yeah. So, this is what how I've been able to treat um, leaf eating mealybugs. Has anybody here tried anything else that I haven't mentioned? 
Let me see what else I have on my list that I wrote down. Yeah, so mineral, yeah. So with the mineral oil and the Castile soap, you can make a drench and you can drench the whole plant and it's safe. Uh, with the alcohol, I have never tried drenching my plant in this. I'm not entirely sure like how safe it is for you to do this. Um, I know other people have used neem oil. I'm not, I don't have neem oil, but I don't know if neem oil has the same effect. Oh, right, yeah, you can also use ladybugs, releasing ladybugs. Um, I've not tried that. I've been tempted, but I'm just worried what that would be like. Have you, Yen, have you released ladybugs in your apartment or is it like more of an outdoor garden? Because I definitely considered um, getting beneficiary insects to help with some of the pest problems. I have a lot of spider mites issues. Um, I have one plant with thrips problem right now. And I have a lot of root mealybug issues, which I have had zero luck getting rid of. And we can talk about that in a minute if no one has any questions about the foliage mealybugs. I did have one succulent um, that had mealybugs on top of it. I went in an apartment, you were able to release, um, and how was that? Did you, I don't know, I'm just worried. Either I'm gonna kill them all because there's not enough food for them to eat or they're gonna start flying everywhere. I don't know, I'm just a little bit worried. But um, nice to know that you've had some success with that. Yeah, lace wings is another good um, beneficiary insect. Yeah, I think I've looked up something else. Okay, if no one has any questions, I'm gonna move on to, you think, Steve, Steve thinks lace wings is better. Yeah, so there's a couple of, uh, you know, I wouldn't gonna call them warrior bugs. Yeah, the only issue with getting them is that you have to have them deliver to you um, next day, obviously, because it's a living thing. And depending on where you live, you might not have access to that. So, but I think I might try a bug this season. We shall find out. But I want to talk about, um, yeah, she has, Summer has been using them. Um, <laughs> She, she she doesn't really believe in any kind of uh, pesticide. I wish I could do that. I, I don't know. I feel like I was very anti-pesticide because I have a small dog and I was just like worried for her health. But so far she's been staying clear of my plants. So I haven't been like, I've been less cautious basically. As long as she doesn't like, get into them, then I feel safer using um, some pesticide. So to move on and talk about um, root mealybugs, which is my biggest issue right now. So uh, one of my, yeah, so one of my mealybug videos, I talk about washing all, like, so if you find root mealybugs, the first thing that they recommend you to do is wash away all the, basically soil matter. You're trying to get as close to the roots as possible because that is where those suckers are. They are eating your roots and if you don't control it soon enough, it will take over. Um, the, that is only if you want to save your plant. If you don't actually want to save the root system, you can uh, actually just cut off the roots and just start propagating all over again. Uh, which is not a bad advice because root mealybugs are just really, really hard to get rid of. And I know this personally because I've been dealing with it for what, three, at least three months now, if not longer. So I had an outbreak. I don't know which plant was the culprit, but I grow a lot of my plants inside a propagation box. And because one plant had it, it spread to the rest of the plants and I stupidly, I think like after I did my cleanse the first time thinking I got rid of them, I moved some of the plants um, to 
another box and it's spread all over there. So I have, I would say at least 40 to 50 plants that have root mealy bugs right now. How can you tell? Um, so the first sign that you will notice is if you pick up the bottom of the pot, you will see little white specks. And then the second way you can tell is just slowly remove the plant, um, the sorry, slowly remove the pot from the plant. And usually, if you don't just disturb it too much, you'll still get the sh you know the the soil kind of intact. And usually, you'll see like white, you know, similar to what you would find on um, the foliage mealybugs, is just this white. Um, how do you describe it? It's kind of like cloudy, really, and the, it just kind of covers on the outside. So those are the eggs in like or in soil, in soil. But it's not to say that they can't live in Lekka, because what happened was I tried to remove all the soil that the plants were in. So that was the first time I saw the mealybugs. I washed off all the soil, and then I moved it into Lekka, hoping that it would help and they're still living attached to the roots. I feel like the Lekka environment is probably drier, so they'll like it less, but that doesn't mean that they can't survive there. Um, so either way, they are there. And with Lekka, you can see them pretty clearly because the white going against the, the brown, the clay balls. So it's just the same thing as you would see on the foliage, just white with like these little cloudy, cottony looking matter kind of dotting all over the place yeah so with that I used I don't recommend it because it's very poisonous but I ended up using I bought this by accident thinking that it was like sort of like not that poisonous but it's very poisonous and it smells like just smells very toxic let's just believe it like that and I used this and I can't really even tell you that whether or not I felt like it worked. Like, I feel like it didn't. And then, so that was the first time I used it. The second time I tried to use it again, and then I ended up actually um, burning a, a good amount of my plants. So if you want to try this, um, I would highly recommend being very careful with the dosage and maybe try to find another brand that isn't so toxic but i didn't notice it working i did a lot of research yesterday and um they said that basically root mealybugs are just really hard to get rid of um the other thing i read and i did try it yesterday so i'll let you know how that goes is actually just using hot water because once again the root mealybugs were trying to penetrate through the their wax protective coating and they said that to use hot water that is anywhere between 115 to 120 degrees. So I did that yesterday with a couple of mines that are actually growing in Lekka and let that soak for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and then I don't think like you're gonna be able to like do that once you're gonna have to like do that repeatedly and see if it helps and but the but the idea is um, the hot water will penetrate through um, the wax coating and hopefully kill the plants that way I was wondering whether or not we should do that and like add in some Castile soap into the water so that once the wax coating is broken by the hot water then the soap can kind of attack the plant I mean attack the plant, plant attack the bug as well so I might try that um, next it's a lot of work but I have so many of them um, like just so many plants infected right now I can't imagine trying to uh, repropagate them mainly because they're also really small I don't know, I'm having such a hard time with them. And then the last thing that I didn't, I found out yesterday was something called um, rover beetles. They are soil dwellers and they help attack mealybugs as well as um, fungus gnats because um, they go inside and they munch on all the living things. 
So I might think to, I'm thinking about maybe getting that. So if anybody has any experience um, using rover beetles, I would love to hear from you. Uh, and last but not least is systemic. Start with the bubble bath by just adding Castile soap. Okay, we'll wait for uh, Marie to respond. But um, so yeah, the other thing that I've been doing pretty religiously this summer, uh, this spring, is adding um, systemics into a lot of my potting mixes and into my uh, water. And I'm hoping that this will help prevent more, more, more of a preventative. But I don't know. Oh, hot water and soap. You've tried it, Maria, and it's, it's worked. I was thinking of that yesterday because it was the first time that I tried using the hot water method. So I'm, I'd be interested. I don't know. It, it's really wearing me down. Like how many times can you, will you need to repot your plant, wash out all the roots, and just do it all over again. But that is all I have for you guys, unless you have some questions for me. Oh, you're calling my idea a bubble bath, yes. Give your plant, it is kind of like a spa treatment if you think about it, right? It's like, here's some hot, warm water that's not gonna damage the plant too much. And then, yeah, give the muley bugs a, a, a bubble bath. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what your experience with mealybugs are. I don't know where they come from. They seem to, they, I, I call all the pests in here ninjas because they like zoop around from one place to another like a ninja. Um, but if you have any other questions, um, otherwise I think this is it. Have you had any neem oil? Yeah, I have no experience using neem oil um, because um, I just didn't get around to buying all of it. I mean, I have a lot of other products that I have, and I'm just like, I, I can't. And I, how did how did the neem oil work out for you, Marie? As far as there was one plant last year, I think it was a succulent that I just got really like pissed off with. Like I treated it, I gave it a drench, and then the mealybugs came back and I just, what did I do? I ripped off a bunch of leaves and I threw the rest of it away. So yeah, I pro propagated it from scratch. Because I'm just so tired of it. Like when you have 50 plants, 50 plus plants in your collection that has mealybugs, your tolerance for more mealybugs get depleted pretty quickly. So do you re so Marie, are you applying um, this to root mealybugs specifically or for both or just like treating mealy any type of mealybugs, whether it's foliage or root? Okay. So for root mealy bugs, you think neem oil works? Okay, yeah, so it's probably, if it's an oil base, I think it will work because you're trying to basically break that wax protective coat. So it's probably worth a try. I don't know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the bubble bath experiment <laughs> and see how that goes. Getting the temperature obviously to the, getting the water to the right temperature I think is the trickiest part. Um, because you don't, obviously you don't want to cook your plants either. So, yeah. And either way, it's, it's a lot of work. But, I don't know. I, I, I really hope that I will get rid of them one of these days. Anybody have any other questions? plants have you lost to mealybugs? 
I've only lost one one plant to mealybugs. This is the it's the one. Well, I didn't lose it. I I chose to give it up. I threw it away. <laughs> well, seems like no one has any more questions, and I hope this I hope this video has helped you guys um, think of different ways of um, trying to treat your mealybugs. And if you have any questions, obviously I'm happy to answer them, so leave them in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um...